The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? Studios in Conway, it's Quiz Bowl 2023. We have seen five state champions crowned so far today, and we're about to find out who will be our sixth Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Quiz Bowl, here is a refresher on the Quiz Bowl rules. A quiz bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each. And if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20 point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Hey. Round four is back to 20 toss up questions. And it's now time to meet the teams for our 1A conference championship match between the Sacred Heart Knights and the Norfolk Panthers. Hi, I'm Megan Fresnetta, and I'm a junior at Sacred Heart, and you're watching PBS. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emma. I'm a senior at Sacred Heart, and I'm attending Arkansas State University in the fall. Wolves up. Hi, I'm Becca Hartman, and I'm a junior at Sacred Heart. Go Knights. Hi, I'm Isaac Duval. I'm a junior at Sacred Heart, and I'm going to put so many quizzes in that bowl. Hi, I'm Callie, and I'm a junior at Sacred Heart. Let's get that check. Hi, my name is Brianna McCoy. I'm a junior at Sacred Heart, and I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. Hi, my name is Wade Summers. I'm a sophomore at Sacred Heart. Go Knots. Hi, my name is Jack Grilling. I'm a junior at Sacred Heart. Game face, Trinity. Hi, I'm Asher Gellin, and I'm a freshman at Sacred Heart. And, um, yeah. I'm Patty Bottoms. I'm the coach at Sacred Heart. And my main job today is taking care of Samuel Toe Perkins III. Hi, I'm Jesse Maple. I'm a senior at Norfolk High School and I broke my thumb. I'm Brandon Wilbur. I'm a freshman at Norfolk High School and LeBron is the GOAT. I'm Carson Beavers. I'm a freshman and Jordan is the actual GOAT. Uh, I'm Ransom Gibson and I'm a freshman at Norfolk High School and I forgot my wallet. I'm Billy Branscombe. I'm a senior at Norfolk High School and shout out to Tyler Blevins. My name's Charlotte Moore. I'm a freshman at Norfolk High School and today's for Taylor. I'm Jero. I'm from Spain. I came to Norfolk High School. I'm a senior and un saludo a mis padres y a mi abuela que sé que me están viendo. Hi, my name is Bobby Matt. I'm a sophomore at Norfolk High School. Just a quick reminder, don't drink detergent. Hi, I'm Jimmy Foster. I'm a junior at Norfolk High School, and I really love refrigerators. I'm Ethan Terrell, and I'm a junior at Norfolk High School, and I keep it 100 when I mob with my psychos. Hi, I'm Aaron Woody, and I'm a sophomore at Norfolk High School. We love you, Taylor. You can tell they really enjoy putting those introductory videos together, and it's fun to see their personalities. So here we are with the 1A conference. Our Quiz Bowl expert, Bill Davis, is here with us. What can you tell us about what we can expect from these teams? Well, Norfolk is very seasoned. They've been here 10 years. Now, not 10 years in a row, okay. but they've been here 10 years, and the coaches that are coaching them now has worked with them for seven years. <laughs> and uh, it, they're very seasoned. They, I mean, they know what they're doing. Uh, Sacred Heart has been here before too, and they are a young team. When you listen to their uh, intros, I think they were just one senior. Yeah. So we're gonna see some seniors. I think there are three on Norfolk's team and against that one. Now, juniors and sophomores and freshmen, 
we've already seen today yeah. they can contribute to these games. Absolutely. It's going to be a good game. Absolutely. Really well, we are excited to get to it, so let's go ahead and turn it over to Quizmaster Steve Patterson and find out who will be the 1A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Round one. Well, welcome uh, Norfolk and Sacred Heart here to the studios at uh, Arkansas PBS. It's where we all try to be as uh, teams. I'm just interested today to see how much mileage Jesse is going to get out of this broken thumb. Um, <laughs> I think I've heard it every time. All right. Um, is everyone ready? Jesse, need any help? Okay, just checking. In what year did Romulus Augustus abdicate the throne of the Roman Empire to Flavius Odysseus, marking the fall of the western side of the empire? Gerald. 476. 476 is not right. We're tossing the whole question up? Okay. So you want me to go to the extra questions? Yes. All right, let me see if we have an extra question here in the old uh, book for y'all. And this is just for Sacred Heart. So y'all ready? All right, what Scandinavian epic tells the story of a young hero who slays the monsters Grendel and Grendel's mother, and later as an aging king kills a dragon? but dies soon after, lamented and honored. No answer? So the answer is Beowulf. Beowulf. All right. <clears throat> no harm or foul there, right? All right, so here we go with question two, and it happens to be a math computation. Points X, Y, and Z are collinear. Y is between Z and X. If XY equals 5W, YZ equals 7W plus 7, and XZ equals 43, what is the length of segment YZ? Uh, Jesse. 28. Jesse, you have the first right answer of the game. Good job. All right. What word in biology, meaning observe, refers to an individual's observable traits, such as height? Billy. Phenotype. You're right. Question number four. In Greek mythology, who is the only woman to sail with and fight alongside Jason and the Argonauts as they searched for the Golden Fleece? Ethan. Hippolanta? That did not sound right to me, no. Uh, Jack. Medea. No, it's Atalanta. Atalanta. This city is the oldest in the state of Georgia and Georgia's first capital. Name this city where General William Sherman's march weighed. Savannah. You're right. Known for its many identities, what branch of mathematics deals with relationships of angles and ratios of links and triangles? Jimmy. Trigonometry. You're right. Prior to this author's 1910 death, he worked intermittently on a novel called Number 44, The Mysterious Stranger, which was published after his death. Identify this author who also wrote Roughing It and Life on the Mississippi. No answers? That is Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Poor old Mark, and y'all have forgotten him. In July of uh, 1948, he signed Executive Order 9981, creating the President's Committee on Equality and Treatment and Opportunity in the Armed Forces. 
Name this president. Uh, wait. Truman. Truman is right. Ended segregation in the military. Math computation. <clears throat> what is the equation in slope-intercept form of the line whose slope is negative seven and passes through the point six, nine? Billy. Y equals negative seven X plus 51. Yes. What is the name for the chemical process in which rubber is heated with sulfur? Uh, Jack. Vulcanization. You're right, Jack. All right, identify the verb tense in the following sentence. We will be having dinner at seven. Billy. Future perfect. No. Becca. Future progressive. Future progressive, because it has the ING on it. All right, this European city was one of the first to use gas street lamps in 1860, giving it the nickname City of Lights. Ethan. Paris? Yes. The bridal chorus by German composer Richard Wagner is the march played for the bride's entrance at many weddings throughout the Western world. For which opera was the song, more commonly known as Here Comes the Bride, composed? Uh, Billy. The Flying Dutchman. No. But he did write that. Good job. Isaac. Carmen. It is Lohengrin. Lohengrin. Which of Canada's three territories is home to Great Bear Lake, Great Slave Lake? Uh, Gerald. Northwest Territories. You're right. Math computation. Convert the following binary number to base 10. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, Billy. 43. No. All right, Wade. 32. No, we need to double the Norfolk uh, answer and get 86. 86. This epic poem from 1667 uh, CE relates the story of the fall of man and the expulsion from the Garden of Eden. Identify this John Milton work in which, Ethan. Paradise Lost. You're right. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, he said. Don't know about that, but we'll see. This element that is a powdery black solid turns green when burned and is used in antiseptics, laundry soap, and eye drops. Name this element with atomic number five. Jesse. Boron. Boron is correct. His series of novels and novellas in, uh, called uh, the Danzig Trilogy include uh, The Tin Drum, Cat and Mouse, and Dog Years. Identify this German novelist, poet, sculptor, and a winner of the 1999 Nobel Prize for Literature. All right, that is Gunter Grass. Gunter Grass. How many hearts do cephalopods, such as octopuses, uh, Isaac? Two. No. Octo Ethan? Three. Three is the correct answer. So close, though, Isaac. Uh, and number 20, this Florentine diplomat's 1513 work, The Prince, Ethan? Machiavelli? You're right. And that's the last question of round one. 
All right, we're going to take a short break, and uh, Christina, if you'll take over. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Steve, for our uh, continuing efforts on our 1A conference. We're going to take a quick break and do a bit of Quiz Bowl housekeeping, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. Look, this is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm going to walk until I ride. I'm going to keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS Video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries, all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS Video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Join us for an in-depth conversation about the documentary with directors Ken Burns, Lynn Novick, and Sarah Botstein. I always sang. When I got into the camp, that's what saved my life. There are millions upon millions of Jews. Well, there can't be Jews in the German Garden of Eden. Only on Arkansas PBS. Welcome back. Right now, Norfolk is winning our 1A matchup, but there's still a lot of Quiz Bowl to play. So let's get back over to the Quiz Master for round two. All right, we have uh, some people that have come in during the uh, break, and you'll be glad to see them. Isaac, you're, you're in a different spot. And uh, Asher's in. And uh, Emma? Okay, great. All right, and with that, we can begin round two. In the ancient Greek epic poem, The Odyssey, she wove a burial shroud for her father-in-law, Laertes, by day and tore it out by night in order to fend off her suitors. Name this woman who was the wife of Odysseus. No answers? That is Penelope. Penelope. Let's do math computation to try to get the first bonus question. What are the possible solutions to the equation? Um, I don't. I don't have that on my paper. Jesse. X equals negative 1.5 and X equals zero. That is correct. All right, so Jesse, you've earned your team a bonus. And uh, that bonus is called, if I can get my questions apart here. I'm sure you've got one. It's called Heavy Metals. Heavy Metals. And given the name of a heavy metal, give its atomic number. Lead. 82. Yes. Arsenic. 33. Yes. Cadmium. 48. Yes. Mercury. 80. Nice. Got all four of those correct. All right, let's go to another toss up for both teams. All right, 
This is called number 23. What property of a simple wave can be defined as the number of waves that pass a fixed point? Uh, Isaac. Frequency. Frequency is the correct answer and gives your team a bonus. All right, your bonus is going to be called Major U.S. Mountain Ranges. Located in the western U.S. between the Central Valley of California and the Great Basin. Sierra Nevadas? Yes. Extends for 2,000 miles from Labrador and Newfoundland in Canada to central Alabama. The Appalachians? Yes. Chain that spans 500 miles from Mount Shasta in California to British Columbia. The Rockies? No. Located along the Tennessee North Carolina border. Smoky Mountains? Yes. And the one you didn't know uh, was uh, the Cascades. Cascades. All right, so we've had two bonuses uh, that we've done, and we have two to go. Let's see if we can get the next one with this toss up question for both schools. In what East African country did terrorists led by Mohammed Farah Adid shoot down three Black Hawk helicopters? Uh, Jimmy. Somalia. Somalia is the correct answer. And you've earned a bonus for your school called Dog Words. Dog Words. Given the description of a word that begins with the letters D-O-G, identify the word. To fold down the corner of a page in a book. Dog ear? Yes. Aerial battles between the planes. Dog fight. Dog fight. Flowering tree with pink or white Dog blossoms. Dogwood. Dogwood. And a doctrine or a set of beliefs related to mor mortality and faith. Dogma. Dogma. All four correct. Good job. All right, we have one bonus left to go, and let's see which school can pick it up with this answer. Identify the uh, positive in the following sentence. I introduced Mrs. Baker, my English teacher, to my Becca. My English teacher. My English teacher wins you the fourth and final bonus. And let's see if I can find it here. Okay, this one's called Lost Generation Authors. Given a work from a lost generation author, name the author. The sun also rises. Hughes. No. All quiet on the western front. Hemingway. No. He did that one for the first one. Uh, all right, uh, number three, The Age of Innocence. Wharton? Yes. And uh, Main Street. Hemingway. That one is Sinclair Lewis. And uh, Hemingway was the answer to The Sun Also Rises. And uh, All Quiet on the Western Front is Eric Remark. Remark. All right, we're going to uh, check for challenges and substitutions. And while we do that, we're going to go to Christina and Bill. All right, well, thank you so much. We're waiting to find out if there are any challenges or if they'll be doing any substitutions, of course. Uh, and that was round two. And um, then we'll be able to announce categories for the lightning round, which is coming up next, one of my favorites, because obviously it's so fast moving. So we have been broadcasting seven Quiz Bowl matches here on Arkansas PBS, started this morning. Uh, but these teams have played countless tournaments across the state just to get here. So how do you maintain your mental stamina? when playing multiple games in one day, I assume it's exhausting. It, it is, and when you go to an invitational tournament, normally what you do is you play three what we call preliminary games. Mm. All right, from those games, then you're seated into the afternoon. We can, you know, you can 
you then participate in the elimination matches. And you're right, some students will get tired, but <laughs> mentally fatigued, I'd yes. say, not necessarily physically tired. But a lot of them, they just get warmer as the day wears ah. on. I mean, they may be a little bit slow in the morning, they <laughs> speed up, and some of them are afternoon folks. You know, they really warm up with the sun, and you'll see them just get hotter and hotter as the day goes on. Also, when you get into the single elimination, in the mornings when you're losing, you're not eliminated. But in the afternoons, the t intense thoughts yes. and really listening. So they can get fatigued, but not very often. They're young. Yeah. Ideally, you have a combination of those that are good off the start and those that warm up. Yes. That's a little right. bit of both would make it very well rounded. Okay, let's go back over to the quiz master. We're talking about categories for the lightning round. All right, well, welcome back here to the studio at Arkansas PBS. And uh, we have a great game going here between Sacred Heart and Norfolk. And that's uh, time for your lightning round categories. So Sacred Heart, you're a little bit uh, behind, so you get to pick first from the three categories and then you can make substitutions. And Norfolk, you'll pick from the two categories that are left. So here are the categories you can talk about. Going pro, identify each of the following terms from math, science, social studies, and literature that begin with the letters P-R-O. Okay, ologist, given a description of what a professional studies or treats, name the professional and each answer will end in ologist. Or you might want to choose authors A to J. Identify each of the following authors when given one of their most famous works. Authors' names will progress from A to J. All right, so while you make your decisions, here's a word from Arkansas PBS. Arkansas. What's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. This month on Arkansas PBS. Gratitude does not extend to the acceptance of assault. Sister, will you please just forget I said anything? She requires nothing less than a miracle. I barely know her. I question whether she's even my mother at all or a fortune hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a boy from nowhere. Tom! Tom, Tom Jones. And a girl from the other side of the world. Sophie! Only on Arkansas PBS.
And we are back for the lightning round. The teams have made their choices, so now let's turn it over to our quiz master for round three. All right, well, welcome back here to the studio where Sacred Heart and Norfolk have a great match going. And uh, during the break, uh, Sacred Heart chose the uh, category of ologist, and uh, Norfolk chose pro, going pro, P-R-O. All right, so we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock, Megan, and uh, y'all have already made substitutions, and we've got some folks moved around and uh, brought some folks back, uh, and Norfolk has done the same thing, I guess. Y'all look the same to me. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go, Megan, if you are. Okay, we've got 60 seconds up there, and the description is... Uh, Given a description of what a professional studies or treats, name the professional and each answer will end in ologist. So we got 60 seconds on the clock and here we go. Life forms from previous geologic periods from fossils. Paleontologist. Yes. The earth and how it was made. Geologist. Geologist. Yes. Humans and their cultures from uh, prehistoric times. Anthropologist. Earth. Yes. Diseases of the male and female urinary tracts. Urologist. Urologist. Yes. Reptiles and amphibians. Herpetologist. Uh, yes. Uh, prehistoric people and cultures through artifacts. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. Yes. Blood disorders. Hematologist. Hematologist. Yes. Insects. Entomologist. Yes. Uh, diseases of the ear, nose, and throat. Defer to Jack. Autolaryngologist. You're right. Origin and history of words. Defer to Asher. Etymologist. Yes. All ten correct. <laughs> awesome. That's the third time today we've had a team uh, run a category and get a 20 point bonus. And uh, very good. But now Norfolk, if they can do that, you can do that. So you be uh, ready to go. And y'all be ready with bounce backs over here in case they give you any. All right, Jesse, you chose um, the going pro. And all the answers will begin with the letters P-R-O. Are we ready? Yes. All right. In math, the measure of the likelihood of an event to occur. Probability. Yes. To cause a plant or animal to reproduce itself. Propagate. Propagate. Yes. Government attorney who represents the state's case against the defendant. Prosecutor. Yes. The nose of a mammal. Proboscis. Defer to Ethan. Proboscis. Uh, yes. The first stage of mitosis. Prophase. Yes. Po period enacted by the 18th Amendment. Prohibition. Yes. Book of the Bible after Psalms. Proverbs. Yes. Part of speech that takes the place of a noun. Pronoun. Yes. To put off doing something that needs to be done. Procrastinate. Yes. Positively charged particles in the nucleus of an atom. Proton. Yes. <laughs> Wow, wow, absolutely great. So both teams are in their categories. They both get a 20 point bonus. And uh, so at the end of the third round, we have uh, Norfolk at 280 and Sacred Heart at 200, a very close game. We're gonna check and make sure we have no challenges or if we want to make substitutions. And while we're doing that, we're going to Christina. Thank you, Steve. And according to our Quiz Bowl expert, Bill Davis, that is almost unheard of for both teams to get all 10 right in the lightning round and, of course, get the bonus points. So congrats to both teams. We're going to take a short break and be right back after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck, 
question is, did she fall? Or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. The shootings are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. And there were no challenges, which means we are ready for the final round. Back to you, <laughs> Quizmaster. Well, welcome back. Uh, this is the 1A state championship, and it's a very close game. There's still 200 points out there to grab. Uh, so both teams have to stay sharp and uh, do their best. And then we'll crown our runner-up and our state champion uh, as soon as this last round is over. And with that, we can begin round four. Round four. All right, here we go. These structures that are crucial for plant cell function use, uh, pardon me, use energy from the sun. Gerald. Chloroplasts. Say it again for me. Chloroplasts. Yes. This American fighter pilot and Medal of Honor recipient was the most decorated flying ace of World War I. <laughs> Wade. Eddie Rickenbacker. You're right. Math computation for the third question. What is the average rate of change of the function f of x equals 5x squared plus 3x plus 1 over the interval 2, 6? <laughs> okay, answers? None? All right, so the answer was 43. 43. <clears throat> when working with gases, Whose law states that when the pressure of a gas is held constant, threat increasing its temperature increases its volume? Wait. Boyle's law? No. Jesse. Charles law. Charles law. Good job. In Billy Collins' poem, American Sonnet, the fifth stanza contains this line, and hide the wish that we were where you are. What poetry device makes uh, that makes use of repeated sound? Uh, Jack. Alliteration. Yes. Among those who have held this office are Earl Warren, William Howard Taft, <laughs> Billy. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. You're right. They finally got Taft out of the bathtub. All right, <clears throat> the cause for this condition is sulfur producing bacteria on the tongue and throat. What is the more common name? Wait. Bad breath. Bad breath. What is the name for an expression that is the sum of difference for two terms? Sum or difference of two terms. Billy. Solution. No. Uh, Becca. Product. No, the word is binomial. Binomial. <clears throat> Even though the judges tried to help you on that one. All right. Um, in this novel, Isabel Archer inherits a large amount of money and subsequently becomes the victim of two scheming American expatriates. Identify this Henry James novel that examines the difficulties of personal freedom. Uh, 
and we all read it so often, The Portrait of a Lady. This North American river that flows from southwestern Canada into central Washington forms part of the Washington, Oregon border before Jesse. Snake. No. Before emptying into the uh, Pacific Ocean. Identify this river that shares its name with a major outdoor gear out major outdoor gear outfitter. No answer? It's Columbia. Columbia. All right, identify the predicate adjective in the following sentence. Aspen leaves turn yellow in the fall. Gerald. Yellow. Yellow is the correct answer. Good. What is the term for a segment that joins any two points on a circle? Billy. Cord. Cord is correct. In this ancient Sumerian epic, the title character goes searching for immortality. Uh, Asher. Gilgamesh. Um, yes, I'm going to give that to them. Huh? Yeah. Uh, in England, this was the period between the execution of King Charles the First in 16. Ethan. Interregnum. You're right. Question 45. Examples of this type of Japanese theater include Ethan. Kabuki. No. The Tale of Jinji and the Tale of Haiki. Identify this oldest form of Japanese theater that combines music, dance, and acting to communicate Buddhist themes. The answer is no, N-O-H, no. All right, in geology, what is the term for the tendency of a mineral to break along smooth planes parallel to zones of weak bonding? Becca. Cleavage. You're right. All right, question 47. According to folklore, carrying the nut-like seed of this North American tree in your pocket will bring you... Becca. Olive. No, will bring you good luck. Identify the state tree of Ohio. Jesse. Cherry blossom. It is the buckeye. The buckeye. Even though forms of this bacterium live in the intestinal tract, ingesting it from outside sources, Billy. E. coli. You're right. Question 49. Found mainly in Norway, Chile, New Zealand, and Canada, Gerald. Fjord. You're right. Math computation. If F of x equals 5x plus 2 and g of x equals 8x cubed plus huh? 3x. oh i'm sorry 3x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x plus 15 what is the value of Quantity F plus G times the quantity 2. Of quantity of 2. That does not say that. <laughs> Answer? Nothing? All right, the answer was 83, 83. And that turned out to be the last question of the match. And um, right now, without any challenges presented, uh, our score has ended up Sacred Heart with 250 and Norfolk with 360. And that means that Sacred Heart, you are our 1A state runner up. And uh, Norfolk, you are the 1A state champion for this year. Congratulations.
All right, we're going to go to Christina, and then we'll set up for the awards presentation. A great game. Another great match, and we were talking about you really can't tell the size of the school when you no. watch these kids. You can't tell they're from small schools. No, look at the score when you <laughs> add those two together. Norfolk just liked a question or two of reaching 400, and that's really difficult to do. Yes. And then for both of these teams to run the 60-second <laughs> round, that is just amazing. You, you won't see that in 100 games, oh, wow. and it's, it's odd for anybody to run. But we've had four 60-second rounds run. I believe that's about the most I've ever seen Abs in a tournament. Absolutely remarkable. So we are going to set up for the awards ceremony. But first, let's take a moment to meet some students that we might see right here in a few years. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. And congratulations to both 1A teams. I'm here with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association to give out the awards. Yes, indeed. That's exactly what we're going to do. And I do believe that for the second place team over here, uh, who wants to take it here? For Sacred Heart. <laughs> you, get your, you get your second place trophy and a big check you can put on the wall to show that you got $1,500. Head into your fun. I'm sure that'll look good. And then we need for the first place team. Oh, I'm not going to lift this one very long. It's pretty <laughs> heavy over here. Somewhere in the middle, we'll give it to you guys. And you get a check for $3,000. And a real one that, you know, comes kind of with it. <laughs> and a big banner to put on your wall to show that you're one of state champions. Yay! And we have to have an MVP. And I can't remember who it is, but let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over here at Norfolk, we need Ethan. Yay. Mr. Ethan here gets it for Norfolk for the MVP. Then we have a few others that 
join you on this list. Not, not a lot in this group, but uh, several others from around the state. Uh, Colin Fisher from Guy Perkins. Um, Wade Summers over here from Sacred Heart. Uh, Billy Branson, also from Norfolk. Uh, Graham Grundy from Taylor. And Echo Mitchell from Rural Special. That's our 1A All-Tournament team. And we have our two winners here. Congratulations to everyone. Yay. Once again, congratulations to all of you for an incredible matchup. And we have one more match to go today. Up next is our 2A state championship between Hawes Hall Bentonville and Lifeway Christian. Coming up live in just a few minutes. Stick around. 